Okay, here are some questions for us to work on. All right, we have 2 over 5 plus 1 half. Remember when adding fractions, we must have the same denominator in order to add our numerators. So when we do that, we have to figure out what can, what can I make my bottom into? What can I make this? and sorry i was hoping for my there what can i do with this one and this one and make them the same think of our pizza this one has a pizza cut into five slices this one has a pizza cut into two slices so if i take it's going to be different i have to make them the same how we make them the same is we look at our denominators. We can always, always multiply our denominators together to get a common base. So I'm going to multiply my denominators together to get a common denominator. So here 10 is going to be my common denominator. The trick is is think of one half, if I have one half, now if I cut my pizza, it's actually easier if I don't do it as a circle, but if I do it as a rectangle, if I cut my rectangle in half, that's one half. It's also, five, over 10. So if I'm making, moving my 2 to a 10 like I'm doing here, see how my half is becoming 5 out of 10. What do I do to the top? Whatever I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top. That's the rule with adding and subtracting fractions. So if I multiplied, if I multiplied 2 by 5 to get 10, then I have to multiply my top by 5. So 1 times 5 is 5. See how we got it down here? So here I multiplied 5 by 2 to get 10. So I have to multiply my top by 2. 2 times 2 is 4. Now we have the same denominators. We can put our denominator here and we can add straight across the top. 4 plus 5 is 9. So 2 over 5 plus 1 half equals 9 tenths. Or you can say 4 over 10 plus 5 over 10 equals 9 tenths. That's question A. Okay, question, let's erase this so we have some more space. Question B. Let's have a look here. We might need this space. Question B. This was A. We have 2 over 7 plus 1 half. Remember to get a common denominator. We can always multiply our bottoms. It's just easy peasy lemon squeezy. So I'm going to make the denominator out of 14 now. Because that's where I got 2 times 7. I multiplied this by 2 and I multiplied this by 7. Whatever I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top. So if I multiplied 7 by 2 to get 14, 2 times 2 is 4. If I multiply 2 by 7 to get 14, I have to multiply my top number by the same. That's 7. Now I can add. 14 is my common denominator. 7 plus 4 is 11. Let's do the next one. Here's C. 1 over 3 plus 1 over 2. I'm going to say 3 times 2 equals 6. So my common denominator is now 6. Whatever I did to this one, because I did 3 times 2 is 6, I have to do to this one. How did I get this number? 2 times 3. What I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top. 
That's my answer. Last one we're going to work on, D. I have 4 over 5 minus 2 over 3. It's the exact same. We need a common denominator. So 3 times 5, 15. I'm going to make 15 here minus 15 here times this by 3 to get 15. So I times this by 3. That becomes 12. I multiply this by 5 to get 15. So I multiply this by 5. There we go. Now I have my common denominator of 15. 12 take away 10. 2. Happy face. That's my answer.